Toast Toss of the Stoner TV. This video, we got Lil J. If you follow the drill scene, then you know about Lil J and his situation. He just served seven years. He was arrested in 2015 and was recently released in April of 2022. After being released in April, he did an interview with Say Cheese that went really viral. Aside from the interview with Say Cheese, he's also been back in the studio feeding his fans, proving that he's not only the same artist that he was before he went in, but he's actually gotten better. He's dropped four new tracks since being out of jail. First Day Clout, Bards of Clout 3, Facts, and Squad. The last track that I mentioned, Squad, is the reason why I'm making this video. The hook of that song says, when JoJo was alive, I used to rock with Brick Squad. And it's actually pretty cool because he has JoJo's brother, Swag De Niro, in the video with him. The problem though is in one of his verses, he's talking about Melly Way. He said, Foden them getting that Melly Way, no, they don't play at all. Now, Lil J was not dissing Melly Way for anyone that's confused. He was not dissing Melly Way. He was shouting them out, basically saying that they had his back and that it was riding for him. Melly Way is basically 051 Young Money. Well, I guess 051 Young Money heard the song and they, they ain't really rocking with what Lil J is saying because Pre Boy from 051 made a video basically warning Lil J and threatening Lil J. Yo, keep Melly name out your mouth. Do not say anything about Melly. Don't mention us, none of that. Now, I guess that once upon a time, you know, everything was good because, you know, in, in the Say Cheese interview, Lil J did mention Melly and say that Melly was one of the guys and everything like that. Melly did hang out on, on STL. He did hang out in Gyro City. So he was one of them in a way. Melly was very close to people like FBG Duck, FBG Cash, they were even so close to the point that there's even rumors that Melly backdoor can't get right, AKA Man Man, and Melly was still hanging on 63rd in St. Lawrence. So, all backdooring aside, it's safe to say that STL, Gyro, and, and, and 051 were, were technically one and the same back in the day, right? Well, you gotta remember that Lil J was locked up in 2015, and a lot of things changed while he was locked up. Now, yeah, Melly was still hanging out over there and everything like that, but Lil J was, you know, facing rumors of, of well, y'all know what Lil J was being accused of, you know, besides the PC thing, you know, the other thing. But obviously, 051 wasn't rocking with it because Motor from 051 was on the phone with Pre Boy from 051, and Pre Boy was basically dogging Lil J out from jail, saying that Lil J was doing this, that, and the third, and, you know, Gyro City and 051 was playing a part in spreading the rumors on Lil J. Now, personally, I believe that Lil J knew that they were saying this about him, so I don't, I don't even know why he came out of jail on that time trying to, you know, shout out Melly Way and all that. But clearly, Pre Boy, he's he's standing on what he said, and, and uh, he's letting Lil J know to keep Melly's name out of his mouth before it be some problems. And on another note, Lil J is real close to Billionaire Black. Like they've been in communication since Lil J's been out. I'm pretty sure there was in communication when Lil J was in. And you know, Billionaire Black's brother is Richie Jerk. Richie Jerk has been dissed by 051 Young Money since he's been, you know, passed away, right? So they, I don't know, okay? You know what I'm saying? So why is Lil J aligning himself with people who did, that supposedly did something to your man's brother? You know what I mean? Like that's that that's that tricky stuff you got to watch out for. To be honest, in my opinion, I think Lil J should just you know leave everything alone, rock with who's been rocking with him, keep the WTO movement going. If you wanna squash stuff with with, with Cash and a couple of other FBG dudes, go ahead and do that because they are you know. The gang that you started with, but leave 051 alone, man, because they they're not rocking with you no more. It's not it's not it's not what you think it is. It's not that. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this. Get in the comment section below. Tap in. Let me know what you think. Should Lil J keep pushing? Should Lil J respond to 051? Should Lil J get in the beat? I mean, he just got out and he's he, he projected to go up. So if I was him. Man, I wouldn't even stoop to the level of pre-boy and them other dudes, man. Because they, they, I mean, come on. All Lil J got to do is keep dropping. And Lil J going to be a millionaire by the end of the year. Hell, by the end of the summer, maybe. You know what I mean? 051, they biggest rapper is like Driller. Pre-boy ain't going to do nothing. So, yeah, just in my opinion, I think, I think Lil J should just stay focused, get the bag. And then if you still feeling like beefing or... 
you feeling like responding to these dudes or whatever, then come back once you got your bag right, you know? But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I'm about to get up out of here. Go on.